Hello, gentlemen. Uh, today I want to teach you another type of verb, which is complex transitive verb. In previous session, I taught you uh, types of transitive verbs, yes? Like we said, it diatransitive and monotransitive verbs. Today, I will be teaching you complex transitive verbs. What? Complex transitive verbs. So, uh, firstly, we have to know the definition of a complex transitive verbs. We are confused. So, we can say that they should have one object and one object complement. Means they don't have two objects. They have only one object but another uh, complement, like predicate. For example, look at this example. We said that he, what is he here? Subject. It is a subjective pronoun or subject, yes or no? Yes. What is this one? Make? It is a verb, yes? What is me here? Object. Object, yes? So, he makes me. Is it complete? No, we need a complement. We need a predicate here. So, this complement that we add here completes the meaning of the verb. So, he makes me happy. Now, this verb, it means that the, the verb make can be called complex transitive verb because we have to have one object and one object complement. This object complement can be a noun, can be even, uh, for example, adjective, etc. Okay? Now, let's make another sentence. For example, I call him. I call him for what? It's not complete. Yes or no? I call him teacher. I call him what? Teacher, so here, what is I? Subject. Subjective pronoun or subject, yes? What is called? A verb, yes? What is him here, guys? Object. Object. Again, I call him for what? It's not clear. We said it. I call him teacher or a teacher. So this teacher is called what? Object complement. Object complement. And the verb that we have here is called? A complex transitive verb. Now, what verbs can be complex transitive verbs? Let's know them. What verbs or which verbs can be complex transitive verbs? Okay? The first one is think. So, how should we make a sentence? Huh? No, after think, use an object, then object complement. If you say, I think about him. No, that's incorrect. I think, I think him a professor. I think him a professor. Look. We used I, then think, then object, then a complement. Yes or no? Number two, with the word make, let's make a sentence by the word make. Hmm? I make you happy. She makes me angry. She makes me what? Angry. Got it? So all the verbs are like what? We have call, we have find. We have keep, we have believe, we have prove, we have consider. After video, I will make a lot of sentences to understand you. So let me repeat this lesson today. I told you something about what? Complex transitive verbs. They should have one what? Object and object complement. Object complement means predicate. It can be like a complement. Like a complement. Okay, understood. So these are the verbs that we can use with complex, uh, these are the verbs that we have to use and they are called complex transitive verb. The next lesson we have to focus on and we have to study it is called linking verbs. What are linking verbs? Generally, we use linking verbs, guys, to connect the subject with a complement. Look, we connect a subject with a Compliment. For example, you seem happy. We have you and we have happy. Yes or no? So what connects this to? Seem. Seem. So the word seem is called what? Linking verb. Linking verb. Or we say that you are a student. You are a student. 
What is the subject here? You. you. And what is the complement? <coughs> student. What is the linking verb? <laughs> those two be verbs generally, those two be verbs that we have. To be verbs, other verbs like feel, seem, look, smell, sound, taste, touch, become, appear, and seem are called linking verbs. So the definition of linking verbs, we can say that they connect the subject to a complement. What can be a complement? A complement can be a noun, adjective, adverb, or even pronouns. So, let's jump on the example, let's know the examples. You seem happy. What is linking verb here? Seem. Seem, yes or no? Why? Because seem connects with what? It would have, yes or no? Or is a linking verb because it connects you with what? A student. The next linking verb? Engineer the verb. Verb, because it connects the subject with what? With the noun. So, linking verbs can be to be verbs. What are to be verbs, guys? To be verbs are like what? Am, is, or. Not only am, is, or, but also we have was, where, or, we can use be, been, etc. Yes or no? So, Generally, you can observe this structure. Firstly, try to use what? Subject, then try to use what? Linking verbs after that. Try to use a complement, not object. What? Complement. For example, look, tell me a subject. Ali, yes or no? Ali, then. Ali feels. Ali feels lonely. Ali feels what? Lonely, or we said that it. it smells, it smells bad. Yes or no? Now, what is Ali and it? What are Ali and it? Subject, yes or no? What are these two verbs? <coughs> Linking verbs, because it connects these two. And this is the complement that we have. Got it? So today I spoke to you. I taught you something about complex transitive verbs and I taught you linking verbs. Complex transitive verbs, they have to have one object with object complement and these verbs can be complex transitive verbs like think, make, call, find, keep, believe, prove, consider. So, linking verbs, they connect the subject to a complement the complement can be a noun, an adjective, a verb, or even pronoun. And linking verbs can be to be verbs, feel, seem, look, smell, sound, taste, touch, become, appear, seem. So these are some examples like you seem happy. The word seem is a linking verb. Or when we say you are a student, the word are is what? Mm -hmm. And when we have we were engineers, the word where is called what? Mm? It is called linking verb. That's all about today's lesson. Please take.